Hi there and welcome back, dear friends and deep thinkers. We're back in the Dead Fire Seas on a ghost ship. And it's time to... To... Tell the Principe that we kind of like them now. Um, because of their leader. Now, come on. I think we need to go to Dunnage, don't we? Hello there. Dunnage. Seems like we cannot go to Dunnage for some reason. For some strange reason. Oh well. Like this we can. There's a merchant here. Let's let's talk to Captain Ellis. It's time to talk to Ethos too. We should seal the deal. You find two of your crew members playing a game in the hold. Oh. Hey there. Oh. Hey there. A round of Orland's head. Nah, nah, nah. Stop this nonsense. You may need blanches as he must snaps to attention. Yes, Captain, they stammer. Not quite as one. Hmm. Apologies, Captain. We didn't mean any harm. We'll go get mess started. The pair hastily retreat. More are lost. What is going on? Now let's go to Dunnage. Again. No, 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 no. Well, the tar loaf, though. Let's go to Balefire Beacon, eh? Should meet Captain Eldis. We also should rest. Ahoy, Captain. Two eyed Pim is here. Mad Marina's here. Oh, we can rest here. Oh. There's a Principy Priest. Let's talk to Eldis. I'll happily lend you my ear. And my sword. And other things. I am captain of the floating hangman. I knew you were the only captain who could take it. You are more than worthy of your chair on the council. The Principi are ready to sail for Ukaizo. Me and my fleet will reconvene with you outside Andra's mortar. Until then, Lovesom. She blows us a kiss. Very, very nice. So, let's see. The coming storm is... Uh, okay, we completed that. Aethos is going to the legendary island of Ukaizo. Um, to disrupt or destroy your cycle of reincarnation. Only by following him here can I confront him directly. Ukaizo is located far to the northeast of Nekataka. The only way to reach it is by way of the Ofekia Channel, a natural gateway leading between the crags of Magran's Teeth and into the storms of Ondra's Mortal. The Principi fleet will meet me there to lend their support in the race for Ukaizo. North East, yes, yes. And uh, we also we need to we need to rest somewhere too. Um, uh, maybe, maybe the king's coffin. Eldest seems like more like the pirate republic spirit. Whose side are you really on? Well, where are you? 
Sure, my money's on Rautai, but I've avoided the brass suit at all. Not interested in settling in, you know? What can I do for you? Um, I wanted to buy what something. What do you want? A room. The captain's cabin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're gonna go for the captain's cabin. Three perception. Here we go. Only the best today. Leave by the seas. I love, I love that music so much. Now, um, I believe that's where the ships are waiting. Oh look, that's the Royal Dead Fire Company. Hmm. We need to go to Andres Mortar, and that's that's here between Magrin's Teeth and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna sail. We're gonna sail. Certainly have a good ship now. <laughs> the ghost ship. Nah, it's not that great, but it's cool. Beyond every, beyond everything. Now let's let's have a look. Um, we want only the best food and stuff now, because we want our people to get ready. Um, now we cannot change these these items here. Apparently, even though we try to prepare that, we oh, worm tongue. Mm -hmm. The double bronzer is pretty great. Let's see. Forgetful Knight. Oh, there's something to be said about this. Glacial Ease. That seems to be a good thing. Um, what else could we get here? Maybe Ekevit. Mm. Milk, not really milk. Uh, Palloween nuts. A raccoon cat. Mm. We'll get a little bit forgetful night in for the crew. And I believe it, we're gonna sail there. We're gonna sail. You received a message from Palagina. Read it. Palagina mes rei frerma guone du frermas mes sanctuolias to the watcher of Cadnua lately of Nikitaka. I regret to inform you that due to your recent hostile actions towards the Valian trading company, I am obligated to return to my superiors and give them a full accounting of our time together. I will not be returning. Have any concerns or complaints about my service? Please direct them to the Duchess Spirento. Oh, that's unfortunate. But a. Eh. Crew is right. Night uh, is ready. I mean, we have our own fog with us, so. Something else we needed to do? Not really. Not really. No, no, nothing anymore. It is time. 
We feel. We feel its call. Takabna. It's now pirate time. For balance, we need some principi, but not the dogmatic real politics ones. You hear a knock at the door to your quarters. An unexpectedly cold wind blows across the deck of the ship and even after several hours has not abated. Eldengring sheepishly knocks on your cabin door. When he enters, his skin is pale, his brow dotted with beads of sweat. Begging your pardon, Captain, but this is an ill wind sent by Bo Ondra. We've sailed too long without offering her tribute. She's sure to punish us if we don't give her what she's due. He tilts his head towards the hatch, beckoning you to follow him on deck. We could explain the science. Now nah, we'll, we have enough coin. Ceremoniously toss a thousand copper coin overboard. I think we can spare something for the Lady of Lament. You head above deck with a chest of coins and gather the crew around as you stand at the ship's edge. With a brief exhortation to Andra, you pour the money overboard. The crew members nod and sing a short shanty that celebrates Andra's mercy. As they return to work, Eldengrin gives you a word of thanks for honoring the goddess. By the next day, the winds have subsided, and the crew is glad that the Lady of Lament appears to have been placated by your donation to the seafloor. Ah well, it's a show for the people. It's a show. The crew is ready. And the ghost ship too. Ah oh, yeah, now now we can uh, actually leave that a little bit on the right side. <laughs> Just need to keep the morale. What's going on here? What is this? Assembly of ships. The Royal Deadfire Company. I don't know, I feel a little bit uneasy now. Maybe we'll just sail around them, right? There's plenty of ocean to sail and many lands to explore, but what lies ahead of you dwarfs them all. Should you choose to sail on, you suspect there will be no return, not the dead fire you have once uh, come to know. It's okay. You set a course through the channel and into uncharted and turbulent seas. Ondra's mortar rages on the horizon. A vast wall of roiling clouds and rain punctuated by the silver flicker of lightning. The wind pushes against you, as if to ward whatever lies beyond from Von Ferris' approach. Von Ferris leads the fleet, crashing through the turbulent waters like an axe through armor. God the life, Beardul mutters, staring up at the storm. Little Luca blinks at the blackening sky. Knew an old salt who, once who claimed the mortar were the edge of the world, I called him a fool. Now the navigator's head shakes sadly. Now I ain't so certain. Head bowed slightly, Elt Engrim smiles. Today. It is a good day as any to learn what the gods have in store for us. Now, oh, good cannoneer. Shit, Captain, one of the hands cries. Hostile vessels inbound to forward port. With a shake of the head, Beodul emits a grim chuckle. Suppose it'd be too much to ask to be let alone here. 
Crossed cannons of the Royal Dead Fire Company flutter and crack atop the masts the approaching warships, each vessel bristling with heavy guns. The approaching fleet numbers at least as many ships as your own and maybe more. Yadol frowns against the wind. The fleet's turning, Captain, setting their gun ports against the enemy. Waving her hat overhead, Imani whoops eagerly. Finally, some god's damn excitement. The hands look to you from their station. Beardol's eyes hold yours. The crew stands ready. What are the captain's orders? Um, inspect the fleet. The very guided crews of the Principe sail at your back, a patchwork of cultures and vessels, each flying not only the colors of the fleet, but also a wide variety of personal triumphs and pennants. The men and women pirates, the dead fire guard, the rails armed with sabers, hatches, and fire arms. The dark silhouette of Eldis ship leads the vanguard flanked by the equally sleek vessels of her closest captains and the enemy. Twenty Rowatian junks plough towards you in perfect formation, their angular sails full, each armoured vessel a deadly work of art, sporting a dozen bronze cannons. Soldiers stand at attention on the decks, rifles resting upon their shoulders. All hands to battle stations, we're joining the fray! The deck vibrates as cannon fire erupts from enemy and ally alike, filling the air with hot, hissing metal and banks of thick grey smoke. Beardo grasps your arm and thrusts a finger out towards the sea. They're coming at us full sail with the wind at their back. A small, fast ship has broken ranks with the Rowatan fleet and bears down upon you. Heavily armed Omawa warriors stand at the ready on the vessel's deck, their eyes focused on your ships. Bring us about, all hands prepare for combat. Ramdam Brigere points to a dark spot on the distant horizon. Captain, a vessel approaches. Raiki again. Squint the horizon and see unfamiliar colors snapping in the breeze. The ship draws near. And its crew throws open the gun ports. Close to board. Give no quarter. Charge, the crew mutters nervously. They give the order to charge. Von Ferris will be exposed to raking fire and the risk of casualties. We'll do that. We're, we're good with that. Ship chews through the water, barreling down the back of waves and surging up the face. Sea spray drenches the main deck. The deafening crunch von Ferris and Rowatai's fist collide, sending shards of wood and enemy sailors flying. We got the ghost ship. Oh, we were, we were pretty much damaged. The rousing cry, your crew threw grappling hooks and boarding planks across the gap between the two ships. They stream onto the ship's deck, weapons at the ready. The stunned enemy crew rally and meet your sailors with a resounding boom of gunfire and clang of steel on steel. The ghosts have come. To destroy you. Um. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's time, eh? Let's let's have a look. Wow. A lot of Rowatians here. Get a phantom going. What can I do? What can we do? What should we do? What would we do? The moon well to start won't be too bad. Let's go with that. They're coming in. <laughs> Ship captain's coming. They're really wasting no time here. 
Well, if there's a hawk, there's a hawk. Then we'll destroy that hawk. Dale is coming as well. I'm here. I don't know. It's judgment time for the hawk. Release right me. Okay, what's up? Mm, look at that guy. Ha <laughs> Another one Another one bites the dust. I think this will be one-on-one -on -one combat, I'm uh, not sure though. Ow, what was that? Okay, okay, you know. It's time to blind a couple. Nature's marks on them. Nice. Yes. What further? Devotions for the faithful. that oh well we'll take down the the hawk with hawk's pretty strong I have to say Adam can't touch the hawk apparently oh, well. we'll get this going Interrupting everyone. Whoa. I'm here. So we didn't did we didn't get that through right yet. And we'll we'll try again. Christine. Suffer a little. And march forward. And give everyone a shield. Murky and Shorty are really doing the work. The back lines there. Beautiful stuff from Adair too. Whoa, Fasina, what are you doing? Yes. Ah, what? Ah, I pressed. I missed. <laughs> I pressed the wrong key. Oh well. Okay, mm Vasa. -hmm. Mm. 
there's something you don't see every day. Captain Reiki. Doing things. Ah, oh, nice. Bringing them down. Probably better that way. They have no chance. Make everyone aware. The crew is on. Oh well. The dead fire, uh, dead eye gun hawk. Shoot. Another one bites the dust. Murky and Xoti together. They really, they are men they are a menace. Yes, that's embarrassing. What are you doing? Hey there, you're, you're running in there too? Wow. Yes. No, let's see, let's find out. I will I think we'll chain lightning. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, anyone behind here? No, not really. With pleasure. Oh, good. All right, okay. Captain Reiki. Another one is down. What is it? Oh well. Electricity seems a great idea, eh? Ain't it? Shorty, okay here. What is it? Hmm. So much for you. <laughs> Take care with your aim. The captain's down. Hmm? Very well. Yes? Everyone's going down. Oh, well. Shut this again. Right here. Of course. Hooray, my friends on the seas. Ow. Hey, that hurt. What is it? These three are doing. 
wonders here. Hey, there. Doing crazy stuff. What is it? Taste this. Oh, that's the stuff. I'm here. Hey there. My pleasure. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, standing up again. Oh, well. Let's see what, what happens now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have just helped your friend here, but okay. We'll do that later. What is it? Absolutely not. Ugh. I didn't think you had with pleasure. What is it? Bring them down. Yes. Nice mod we're on our side. Hmm? Now, where is the gun hawk? Oh, there's still the parrot. Ah, oh, yeah. Gunhawk? Ah, it's Bonded Grief. Oh, yeah. He shot his freaking parrot. How good, I say. Maybe try, I mean. Yeah, Death Ring. That makes no sense at all. Oh, yeah, out of range and still attacking. Yeah, that's, that's how we do it. That is how we do it. What is it? Oh, come on. Feel pain. Fittingly, the captain takes the last shot. The crew got some stuff and we're pretty happy about, about this. They attacked us. Take it and continue. Everybody likes us anyways, so... Rumble of Cannons provides a steady percussive accompaniment to the choral screams of the dying. The deck pitches and rolls with the twisting of the sea, and smoke drifts lazily across the choppy waves. Andra's mortar churns to the east, the shifting clouds and shimmering curtains of rain are hypnotic. Fixes on you... A frown, aimed over the head, Captain, the mate gestures out across the water. A pair of colossal galleons flank the iron fang. As the mercenary ships close on Eldest ship, they pound the smaller vessel with the repeated rounds of cannon fire. Ogre corsairs wave heavy clubs from the galleon's decks, impatient to board the pirate craft. The ogres possess an overwhelming advantage, and von Ferris is the only other ship near. Without your intervention, the fleet's commander stands no chance. Bring us about, have the cannons ready, we're taking on one of those gallons. With grim nods, your mates snap to the task, spins the wheel as calls to the cannoneers. When Ferris turns, barreling towards the ogre crewed galleons in the hope of offering your allies a reprieve. Captain of Vessel approaches. Ah, yeah, unfamiliar colors. Gundruk. The ship draws near. Crew throws open the gun ports. Give no quarter. Charge. We'll sail on. The ship chews through the water, barreling down the back of waves and surging up the face. Sea spray drenches the way in back. The 
deafening crunch from Ferris and the scourge of Abbot collides, sending shards of wood and enemy sailors flying. Uh, oh, well, that was pretty good. Let's board this galleon. Ogres, bah. Whoa, they have first strike or what? I'm here. Substantially. And we'll go for a Moonwell. Because Moonwell is best well. Hawks coming in. They're coming in. Yes. Hmm. I don't think we want a weather mage. Let's see, armor 9. A cutthroat powder monkey seems easiest to hit. Taste this. Take him down. But first, we just need some help in getting ready. Ogres are coming. Gundruk the ogre is coming. In interesting, interesting. Hey there. And another one bites the dust. I'll teach you a lesson. What is it? Destroy them, as I, I'd like to say. Chain lightning is the right call for this. Some devotions to the faithful going. Still alive? I need something sharper. Need something sharper? Odd, odd, odd. We don't need something sharper. We are in the perfect spot. Oh no, we've missed. I think though the weather mage will be How do you like that? The next best shot. Getting in there. Hmm. Another one bites the dust. The okay. weather mages. Time has come. Um, make everyone aware. 
Is a dire blessing? Well, again, some chain lightning. Ah, we're blinded. No. Another powder monkey. So much for you. They were easy to get down. Whoa, nice! What a strike we hit there. Well, not that easy to hit. There's a did I gunhawk. He's really easy to hit. Here we go. Hawks doing stuff. Doesn't matter. Let's go for the concussive missiles. Get the moon well up and running. Rick is doing this stuff. The soldiers. Good way. Stanton got problems. Destroy the gun hawk, maybe. Maybe that's the problem. Didn't assist enough. Yes. Still alive. I need something sharper. Hey there. Absolutely. Close, close, close. But I believe he'll die. I need to. It clicks him uh, when when the, his next yes. pulse is coming. <laughs> All like that, of course. <laughs> Stunton has got a problem, but he's getting healed, thankfully. Did we just... Oh, I just clicked Liquid Adra. God. My biggest enemy in combat, me. <laughs> what is it? <sighs> um, Alright, take them there. Pleasure. Cutthroat is apparently easiest to hit. Right here. <laughs> Bring them down. What can I do? What? 
shoot the cutthroat. Another ogre bites the dust. What is it? Taste this. Gundruk, okay. Sudden Gundrug is tenacious. What is it? With pleasure. Well, yes. <laughs> Good one for Modware. Hmm? I'm here. Come on, uh, we cannot reach him. Great. Then like this. Hooray! And that's how it's done. Boom, take the ogres down. Alad gained the level? Alad? Good, it's me. <laughs> Crazy stuff. We've got the weather mage grimoire, look at that. That's really fun. It paints orb. Take it. We need it to guard you, friends and comrades on board. The rising winds do nothing to clear the obscuring haze of choking smoke. Popping gunfire punctuates the timpani roll of cannons. The shouts of desperate sailors vie with the screams of the dying. Enemy and ally alike disappear into the morass, which glows from within, illuminated by burning wrecks. A ship looms out of the darkness to port, and its crew call warnings in their desperate attempt to avoid a collision. They fail, and von Ferris heaves as the enemy vessel slides along its broadside. Another craft appears directly ahead, with no room to maneuver. Von Ferris grinds up against it, sandwiched between the two enemy ships. You're trapped. Pouring out of the haze, a squad of roadtime troops cross the collected decks, firearms at the ready. Wow, we're suddenly in focus. Careful. I see them. Thank you for watching, by the way, and happy gaming. We'll see each other soon in the next episode when this combat... Or maybe this parley begins. Have a great time until then, and happy gaming. This is Immanuel Khan, signing out. <laughs>